of Frozen 2. He goes, Anna? Elsa? Samantha? I don't even know a Samantha! And that's Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that If everyone is here to celebrate one day We have our ups and downs But when there's love there's always a way And oh this time of year we come together to celebrate Yes every time the snow Danielle here welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe turn on the notification bell and get notified every time I post which right now doing vlogmas is obviously every day which I apologize for yesterday it was just a busy day and a lot going on so I didn't get to post but don't worry I'm back happy Monday um will be it'll be Monday when you see this um but yeah so I am going to I thought like what else like I was thinking through like what ideas I wanted, because I want to stick with like the Christmas vlog ideas. Hold on. So I want to stick with the Christmas vlog, either like, like doing Christmas things or vlogging. Um, and I was like, what have I not talked about? And something I thought about because um, obviously I'll be doing surgery. So I'll be watching a lot of movies. And so I was thinking, I was like, I should talk about my favorite Christmas movies, which I made a list <laughs> of all these ones I want to tell y'all about. And if I can find like the front of it, I'll place them right here so y'all can see what they look like. Cause there's always, there's so many different movies and stuff. Um, so yeah, I, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do for today's video is talking about these movies and then comment down below which one of these movies you like or which one, how about this? And if you have either, if you've seen all of them, which one is your one you like the best comment down below. And if you haven't seen them, which one haven't you seen and comment down below. Um, thank you for all y'all's support and we're gonna get into this video. Alright guys, so the first one is Elf. Elf is just such a cute and adorable movie. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend. It is so funny. If you've seen that show, it's like, oh my gosh, it's Santa! That, that's literally, <laughs> that's where it's from. It's so cute. I totally recommend. Elf is like, it's... I watched it as a kid, and it's a movie that, like, there's you know, some movies, like, you can only watch it as a kid. You can never watch it again um, when you get older. But this one, like, I watch it all the time. Like, I absolutely love it. It is so cute and so funny and just, like, it gets you in the Christmas spirit. Um, there's, like, different parts where you're decorating and different stuff, and it gets me just so excited. Those are one of the movies I actually watch with my grandma every year, which is pretty exciting. Um... But yeah, I absolutely love Elf. It's funny. It's a good movie. It's hilarious. It's just like a good time. Like it just, it's a good time. Um, now the next ones are like kind of this, I put it in one, but it's actually three different movies. So the Santa Claus is one, two, and three. It's really cool to see like, um, it's just like a really Christmassy time to see Santa Claus and there's a little bit of love story in there a little bit, so I love that because I'm a rom-com girl. That is me. Um, I love romantic movies, um, romantic comedies especially, but it's just like a really good like series, and I watched them growing up, so it was really cool. Um, and then like going into that, there's one like kind of incorporated. It's called Jack Frost, and that's like the evil guy, I guess you would say. <laughs> um, but I watched them as a kid, and if you're around my age, you probably watch them too. So comment down below if you watch those, because those are pretty cool. They usually go on Disney Channel when I was younger, but I think now they're more on Freeform, which is interesting. Quite interesting, actually. Because um, if you notice, like, there's so many different channels that do Christmas movies, and Disney Channel used to be one of them for, like, kid Disney movies, Christmas movies, and I feel like it's kind of not a thing. Like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's weird how, like, things change and, like, different things. And, yeah, it's it's interesting. It's real interesting. Um, the next one I have is The Grinch. I know he's, like, trying. He doesn't like Christmas. But, like, it's just so cool to see Cindy Lou, like, make him love Christmas. And, like, even though he's, like, he's, like, a Grinch and doesn't like Christmas. But he ends up loving Christmas. And I, I just think it's it's such a good thing because someone who has so much energy and positive energy can... That's how you can help some like... Bring that energy in because maybe you don't know what that person's going through. And I think that's what that movie's like kind of all about is like really bringing, keep, the, keep your positive energy so you can, so it, your positive energy is contagious. And if you spread it, even if someone's in a bad mood, maybe you don't know and like they're going through something and you can just bring that energy to them. And I think that's super important and special. And I think 
a lot of times people just see it as like, oh, bad Grinch is like Christmas. But like, I think there's like an underlying like bring positivity out, and that's what Christmas is about. It's being positive and staying positive. And I mean, especially for Jesus, because that's just amazing. Um, and celebrating that. And so I just encourage you. I know we're talking about movies, but it just like came to my mind just saying, encourage you to stay positive and really rejoice during this time. Um, thankful that you're here on, thankful you're still here. Thankful that you, you're healthy and because this has been a hard year and I just hope these movies can bring you some kind of positive and positive and energy to your life. Um, now the next one is Rudolph. Um, there's like this, I can't really remember, but it's like the little cartoon one, Rudolph, and I think it's so cute. And I know like Rudolph's kind of like a story because he's like the one where no one talks to, but Santa picks him to be his lead guy. Like, I think that's really cool because even when everyone around you may not see the talent or the gift you have, there's someone who will. And God gave, gave you that talent or gift and use that. And don't ever lose sight of who you are because God made you the way you are for a reason. And I think it's really special. And Rudolph has always been one of my favorite movies because it's just like, it's kind of sad but ends up really happy. And I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and the next one I have is Frosty the Snowman. And I just love it because it's just like, it's just a snowman. Like, snowmen are just so cool. Like, that's also why the next one I'm going to do is, it's not really a Christmas movie, but I love this movie, and I'll probably watch it a million times while I'm at home resting. Oh, I mean, Frozen. I literally love Olaf, and he is my guy. He is my guy, guys. When I tell you he's my guy, like, I love Olaf. Like, I didn't really, wasn't really into, like, these new Disney movies, but when Frozen came out, I was like, that is my movie. I love it. I watch it. I don't watch it as much now, but I used to watch it a lot when it first came out. Um, and I just love snowmen because I feel like they're just so like delicate and nice and sweet and positive. They just have this new light to life, and I think that's really cool and really amazing. And I just absolutely love the idea of a snowman being the light to someone's life. Like even in this one part of Frozen Two, he goes, Anna, Elsa. Samantha? I don't even know a Samantha! And that part just cracks me up because he's like, he's just so goofy and fun and it kind of reminds me of myself because that's how I am. I'm just so goofy and like I just say things sometimes. I'm like, Danielle, what did you just say? Like, what are you even saying? But it's just like that energy that he has like makes me want to have that energy and I feel like it's just, I just, I just love him. Absolutely love him. Um, and the last kind of, it's not really a movie, but it's the type of movies I kind of watch is I always love watching like with my grandma we always watch the new Hallmark movie Christmas movies or new Lifetime movies um I know they're so predictable but they're so cute and love stories I just love love stories and it just makes me so hopeful that I mean obviously not uh, like on tv it can be more like drawn out and like all this love story but it makes me excited because I believe like I will find a love story and I think this is so special I've always loved those Christmas movies and I watch them with my grandma every year and that's what I'm most excited for because I might spend some time with her um during this time so I'm really trying to see like what it's just gonna be really cool and really exciting and I'm excited to spend some time with her and my grandpa even during these times it's just good to spend time with your loved ones and that's what I love about Christmas so much even though I have so many families and everything um it's just really cool to get together and it's not about for me it's not about the presents it's really about spending time together and just really having fun together and that's what I'm excited for and that's what I'm going to continue to be excited for um but um those are all the movies and yeah all right guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe turn the notification bell and get notified of your post I hope don't forget to comment down your favorite movie I talked about or whatever whatever you want to comment I appreciate all your comments and this channel is growing so fast and I'm just so excited to see what's next like I say follow my Instagram give me some ideas if I should go live on YouTube, comment down below. Go live, go live. Let me know if I should go live. I haven't decided when I want to go live. I originally want to do it at 100 subscribers, but I think I want to wait. I'm not sure. So comment down below. Um, also, just quick, thank you so much for watching and just being a part of my journey. This has been so much fun. And I know this journey can be... Some of y'all have been here since the beginning, and I greatly appreciate that. And the people who are here now, y'all are my OGs. And I can't wait to just see what comes for us. Um, but let's keep getting people into our little family. Um, let, tell your friends, tell your family, share my video on Facebook, wherever you want to share it, share it. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, guys.